make you so proud of me? You're going to be so proud. Who's getting on video today? Who's finally getting his own video, huh? You are. Yeah, you're getting... Hey guys, welcome back to Rad Old Rat, my YouTube channel dedicated to all things skateboarding. I'm so glad you guys are back because today's video is long overdue. Y'all know I talk a lot of shit on this channel. I brought you the pioneer of street skating at least three times now, but don't get it crooked because today we're going to focus our vision on the guns. Art and skateboarding have always gone hand in hand, but nobody's put the two together quite like Mark Gonzalez. As a fresh young rider for mega company Vision Skateboards, Mark won his first street skating contest in 1985 in Oceanside, California, and could not have been less impressed to be there. What makes you one of the better street style skaters around? I don't know. I just skate a lot. In fact, if you ask a lot of the skaters on the scene at the time, this beach style contest was more about who can get the highest air than it was about actual street skating. What's it going to take to win a street co style contest like this? Not a street skater. Get as high as air as you can. You can call that street skating, but I don't. I've never known a street skater to win a street contest yet. Gans pioneered a modern approach to street skating. The guy practically invented street skating by taking freestyle and vert tricks and adapting them to curbs and banks. Fast forward to 1989, Gans teams up with Steve Rocco, creator of World Industries, to start a new project, Blind Skateboards. This collaboration led to one of the greatest videos of all time. That's right, I'm talking 1991 Blind's Video Days. This masterpiece, filmed by Spike Jones, includes skating from Jason Lee, Rudy Johnson, Jordan Richter, a baby guy Mariano, and of course, Mark Gonzalez. Spike once said, you can go skating with Mark, and for every one object you see, he's gonna see 10 of them, and he's gonna interact with every single one of them. And I can't think of a better way to sum up who Mark Gonzalez is as a skater. As an artist, Mark's work has been displayed in museums and galleries in Japan, Germany, France, the United Kingdom, Brazil, and the Netherlands, in addition to New York and Los Angeles. Whether showcasing his skateboarding as an interpretive piece or displaying his brilliant paintings and sculptures, Mark continues to challenge himself and inspire others to this day. Alright, now that we know who we're dealing with, let's get into the specs of this board. We're looking at just over 30 inches in length. At its widest, 10 inches. We got a tail at just over 6 inches and a nose sitting at just about 3. We got a wheelbase of 15 and a half inches, and of course this can't be missed classic graphic by Andy Takajan. Alright guys, with that out of the way, it's time to get creative with this grip and on the streets. Let's go! Okay, so as usual, we're going to start off with the checker tape here. It's going to look so hot against that pink top. Just going to cap off my space here using this Rad Skull Skates bumper sticker. So I'm sure it's no surprise we're going to start off with a Vision Streetwear sticker. Keeping things in order, I'm just going to follow it up with a blind logo. And I was stoked to find these crooked stickers because I knew the eyes would end up being the perfect size to fit in here. So for what we have left, we're just going to finish it off with some black tape here. Except for the nose, I've got a little chunk of yellow that I want to use. Okay, so now that we're finished taping the rest of it up, we're just going to go ahead and move on to filing and cutting before we can finish setting up. I like using an awl instead of a traditional file. This way I can just get right down to the wood and peel up what's left without having to use a blade. And then we're just going to use those scraps to sand down the edges and really melt it into the wood. Definitely no Mark Gonzalez, but in tribute, I thought I'd write a couple of the things seen in some of the more popular images of his grip tape art. I don't go crazy trying to get my rails perfect, but I do like to use a bit of painter's tape to at least make sure I've got them lined up. To 
finish the setup, we're gonna toss on some quarter inch Psycho Stick risers under some Stage 11 independent truck size 159. I'm using the OJ Street Combo reissue wheels sitting at 60 millimeters, rolling with some Bronson raw bearings. Okay guys, well unfortunately, before I had the cameras rolling, I channeled my inner gons and went full slam man. But I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Please enjoy this dramatic reenactment. I told you not to bring that damn wooden toy around here, not- Baby, oh baby, look at me, baby, look at me, give me my baby, I'm fine. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, nothing like a fresh injury to remind you you're still alive. That was a lot of fun, guys, and I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And share this video around so we can reach more rad skaters just like you. And don't worry, I'm not gonna bail on you just yet. In place of my mediocre skateboarding, I thought it would be rad to show you how Gons took the 1985 NSA Street Contest win. So please, enjoy a minute of Mark, and until next time, stay rad. We make a million a minute. We make a million a minute. We make a million a minute. Shredders. Right there, Mark, wrapping it all up. Yeah. We make a million a minute. We make a million a minute. We make a million a minute.